Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the grass flats. Got my fly rod out today. I'm going to attempt to catch my very first redfish on the fly. And there's a school right here in front of me. So hopefully strip out enough line I can make it happen. I got a shrimp fly on that my buddy Andrew from Andrew's Fly Fishing the YouTube channel I'll link it in the description below but he gave it to me Look at people stingray right here you gotta watch these guys they are out here and they are sneaky Stingray over there too. Oh, got him! First redfish on the fly, people. I don't think he thinks. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Oh, I think. I, oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. He knows he's hooked now. <laughs> he's got a little grass on there, so it had me confused for a second. Holding that tension, letting him get to the reel. Unless he's going to let me pull him in, just like this. I don't think he realizes that we are in a fight yet. I don't want to hold my freaking line tension too much, because he's going to break it if I do. I'm worried about that little tiny tippet. You are getting to witness my very first redfish on a fly, people. Thank you, Andrew, for the tie, for tying these flies for me. He gave me a whole set, man. That's a nice looking red too, it looks like. He looks like he's definitely a slot red. That's awesome to have my very first redfish on the fly to be a slot red. Come on, guy. I'm trying to do it the right way and not fighting with the with the rod, because they say you're supposed to hold it down like this and not, not try to do it like you do a conventional rod. Here we go. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna let him have it when he, when he wants it, but. Oh. He still hasn't done a big run yet, which is kind of confusing to me because I figured he would just head for the hills right off the hook set. But so far he is, like he's not sure if he's hooked or not. <laughs> I guess I should walk him back toward the boat because I don't have a net with me and this lot fly rods too close are too long to get in close. I guess I need to reel up my my slack back here. This is how you do it when you're a fly fisherman? You reel up your slack when you got a fish on? Because I don't know people. You gotta tell me about this in the comment section. I missed this part of the the lesson plan. I guess he can pull drag if he needs to. I'll loosen it up a little bit because I don't want to break him off. He's my first one, people. I also got to watch out for stingrays because they has a bunch of big stingrays on this flat right now, people. All right, redfish, swim with me. He's he's literally swimming straight to me. <laughs> Take him out right here, people. Here, oh, he's just buried up in the grass. Awesome. That freaking shrimp fly that Andrew tied for me looks so great. I don't blame this fish for eating it. Go check out his channel though, people. He he specializes in catching speckled trout, like good sized speckled trout on a fly rod, which is something I hadn't even you know considered before I met him and saw his channel. That is awesome. It looks like he's gonna let me get over here and pick him up. Are you finished with the fight already? big guy I'm worried about him doing a head snatch he's just breaking that freaking I don't want him taking my new fly come on over here to the boat I'll take you off gently like I know what I'm doing or something I can tell you right now people this fly fishing stuff is addicting because that was a freaking blast right there 
that was something else getting to fight this fish you know i'm so used to just using my rod and reel and it's just so easy you know this is this was a little more of a challenge for me but i'm sure it's because i'm so new at it i gotta hold you this way so i can get that fly in the picture <laughs> No, don't go down there. Oh crap. That's not good. Sorry about that fish. Let's do this the right way. Awesome. I want to confirm your slot rid. Oh, he's right at, he's like 20 and a half. He's right. Beautiful people. Again, go check out Andrew's channel. He is the man who made this possible by sending me these flies that he tied. And thank you to Cast King for the fly rod and fly reel setup. Look at this guy, people. He is a beauty. Do the the classic fly rod. Maybe that's my screenshot. <laughs> We'll see. All right, fish. I have enjoyed it. You can go. I do appreciate all the fun. So if you get out here on these flats like this, people, and you know there's reds around, a lot of times the best bet is just to pick a good spot and kind of hang out there and let them come to you so that you're not spooking them by doing too much walking around and everything. Hello, freaking trout busting on some stuff back there. See, there's a big bald spot right here in front of me. And I'm hoping that I can pick on some flounder until I see a redfish come up and give itself away. But in the meantime, I'm always looking over here to see if a redfish is, is meandering by, just swimming all nice and slow and calmly. And in the meantime, I'll throw right over there and let that thing go all the way to the bottom and let that little shrimp fly just scoot across the bottom. There goes a little flounder. Y'all want to get up close and personal with the stingray? I get barbed. It's gonna be y'all's fault. I just want y'all to know. I'm blaming y'all. I'm gonna tell my wife y'all made me do it. I don't think a stingray would eat this fly because it doesn't smell like anything. I'm pretty sure they don't just see food and eat. I think they they have to smell it. Or whatever it is stingrays do to detect the food they just hit. You see people this is what you don't want to see on the flats this is not a huge stingray but he's a big guy he can cause a lot of pain you can see his barb right there in his tail don't come over here bro i'm just trying to show you off i ain't trying to give you nothing to eat or nothing let's see <laughs> i feel like we're in the bahamas with all the stingray and that's another thing they love to get in your dirt cloud. See, he's right here in the dirt cloud right now. That is, that is not good. And that's one of the reasons that you want to try not to walk back through your same dirt cloud unless you're doing a super shuffle. Because those guys love to get in the dirt clouds. <laughs> the dolphin's out here popping, look, pow. Popping his tail, stunning bait, pow. There goes another one. Wish I had my zoom camera right here. Oh, that's another snipe. <laughs> he is smacking it. Out there trying to stun bait. We got two dolphins over here and that's three over there. The dolphins are working hard.
Look at those two great people. He just buried himself down in the grass. That's the last thing you want those guys to do. So note to self. Oh, I got a flounder. <laughs> nice. First flounder on the fly too. I'm gonna get a freaking fly rod Texas slam, people. This is a little guy here. Nice. Look at this little guy. Oh, calm down, little guy. Just easy, easy now. I'm gonna have to let you go because you're a little tiny guy. But look at that, people. Mm, let's get you turned around. Turn you around my hand so I can get a better look at you on the pretty side. Look at that, people. Again, Andrew, thank you very much for tying me the flies. <laughs> I want to get a pic. Oh. oh, I don't have my phone. I was like, I want to get a picture on my phone, but it's all the way back there at the kayak. And I don't want to have to walk all the way back. I'm just going to let you go, guy. Your lucky day. I'm going to have to do screenshots off my camera. Oh, he's off. There's my fly. Perfect. <laughs> I thought I was hung up on weeds though. I was hung up on flounder face. Nice. Can't beat that. Well, I guess you could beat it with a bigger flounder, but I ain't complaining. I figured there'd be a flounder in that bald spot too. I just want to let you know. I figured that was going to be the case. I just like it when I'm right.